Newcastle disease is a highly infectious disease that affects poultry across many regions in Africa. When a flock is affected by the virus, losses can be up to 100%. So the disease is a serious concern for chicken and other poultry farmers. In Uganda, the Global Alliance for Livestock Veterinary Medicines, government, a non-profit organization working towards accessible and affordable livestock vaccines and medicines by smallholder farmers in developing countries, is partnering with Brentec, a private registered company. Brentec is manufacturing the I2 vaccine under their brand name Kukustar. The vaccine is thermotolerant, which means that under normal temperatures of up to 37 degrees, it can be stored without refrigeration for up to a week. This makes the vaccine much easier to use by small-scale farmers even in remote areas. Brian Bigirwa is the quality assurance manager at Brentec in Kampala. We first interacted with GovMed in 2009 and we are aware that they were trying to do a vaccination initiative for, to introduce thermostable vaccines to poultry farmers, especially smallholders. And Brentec at the time was in the middle of setting up our facility because we, it, we also independently wanted to enter that market with a private sector model. As the directors of the company, we realized that poultry farmers had, did not have access to vaccines, which was why the poultry sector was, being, was lagging behind. So we, we wanted to, to remove that hindrance. So between 2008 and 2010, we were building the factory, and we interacted with a person from government to see if we could get some assistance, some technical assistance with the vaccine registration and all that. And they were very helpful. After we registered the vaccine, we now entered a second agreement for sensitization and distribution so that we can utilize a little help from government, with the knowledge databases and everything to push out a private sector different strategy for distribution of, of uh, the vaccine to smallholders. The Kukusta vaccine is distributed through agrovids who buy in bulk and repackage them into small doses of 20 to 50 and sell them to farmers. My name is Dr. Nahamia Florence. I am a vet. And I'm the distributor for Kukusta in the eastern region. I'm distributing to 11 districts. With each district, we have at least some retailers. So I always try every month to go and... Uh, give that retailer more of the vaccines because at least most farmers have learned about the vaccine because we normally advertise on radios and uh, we always go to the markets. Uh, we have done a, a, an outreach to at least um, about uh, 300 to 500 farmers per district. You could just explain a bit how, how you get the supplies from the headquarters? I make orders to Brentec and uh, there is a certain amount they normally want us to take. And the good thing, since people have come to learn about it, I find myself sometimes even uh, passing past the, the amount which Brentec normally wants. Because people really want the vaccine. Since it is sustainable, it is in the country. And uh, whenever people need it, we can go and get it. It's, it's very good other than other products which come around and they stay for a few years and the next uh, years they, are, they will disappear off the market. Through extension workers like Samson or Jacol, the vaccine is delivered from the agrovet to the farmers at village level, and through this, Ojakol also makes money. I get the vaccine, reconstitute it. Then I've also trained what we call the vaccinators. Actually, in the sense now they are no longer vaccinators, because they have also gone ahead to train other farmers, such that their work is now to sell vaccines to those farmers directly, instead of doing the vaccination themselves, because it's very costly and it's very tedious. How are you making money? For example, I get a vial at 10,000 Uganda. Uh, about $3? $3, yeah. Mm. Then I re reconstitute, I get about 20 droppers from uh, EG. And each dropper I sell to my vaccinators at 2,000 shillings. Then to the farmer, I sell at 2,500. So that my vaccinator also gets 500 for, per, uh, per dropper. And you're saving birds? Yes, I'm saving the life of birds. In, in other words, you are saying that this kind of private sector partnership is very important to help farmers? Wonderful. Actually, it's a good, good approach. Actually, the, the poultry industry was sort of neglected. 
Nenze Sara Nanzala, ndi mulimi. My name is Sara Nanzala. I am a farmer and I've been rearing chicken for more than five years. I used to rear around 50 chickens, but 20 could die and I remain with 30. But since I started using Kukusta vaccine, none of my chickens have died. I have used Kukusta vaccine twice and all the 100 chickens have survived. I even sold 40 of them and was able to clear school fees for my children. I urge all farmers to use Kukusta vaccine and urge the manufacturers to bring it closer to us. I'm called Anyoti Godifle. Uh, in fact, the new vaccine is a very nice vaccine because when I compare it with the vaccine I used in those days, I could lose some birds. But the same when I used this vaccine, I never lost even a single bird. And I had to sell off all the birds. But Brian has a message for any other organization or companies wanting to have such a partnership. The farmers need to understand the value. Most initiatives actually fail because uh, people give out the vaccine to somebody for free. So he does not understand the value of the vaccine because it's like, mm, I'll get vaccine from... But if somebody spends as little as 100 shillings and at the end of the day is manages to sell a chicken for 12,000 shillings, he can see the value. But when something is given for free, very few people see that value proposition. So I would encourage most organizations out there trying to do this thing is make it affordable, but never make it free. That report was compiled by Rain Media on behalf of Garth.